Welcome back to EducateTube.com. My name is Sipski, your host. Today I'll be showing you how to save money by buying meat in bulk and store them away. Okay, this is a meat that I bought. It's a pork sirloin. It weighs about 3.3 kilograms. That's a lot of meat. You cannot eat that in one day unless you have a huge party. So since we, we don't have a huge party, we are going to um, store them away. Now the first thing you want to do, of course, there's the meat. Look at how big it is. Wow, it's huge. Okay, well the first thing I want to do, of course, is to unpackage it, take it out, and then we're going to cut it into small um, pieces. Now, the secret is, of course, if you want to store it away, you need to put like soy sauce and salt onto these meats. So the first thing is I unwrap it. Okay, that's what I'm doing right now. And then you want to do is chop them into or slice them into very uh, pe small pieces and then and store them away. But of course, adding the preservative like soy sauce and salt. Okay, so you can see this is a huge meat. I'm, cut, I'm splitting into two, and I'm gonna cut into small pieces. So here we go. I did cut into small pieces, and I'm gonna put it in this huge bowl. And later on, you'll see in about a couple seconds here, uh, I'm going to put soy sauce and salt into it. Okay, marinated basically. Sometimes I even put teriyaki sauce in it. But you can see I pour in the soy sauce right there, okay? Then I add about uh, you know a tablespoon of salt, okay? And sometimes, like I said, I might put in teriyaki sauce, okay? And then I would just mush it in, get all the sauce in there, okay? This will preserve the meat for a little while, probably another couple of days, okay? When you put it in the fridge. Now, if you don't, you want to store it for a week, you want to put that in your. Uh, freezer now make sure you wash your hand very clean because you don't want to contaminate the meat uh, when you're uh, marinating these meat okay I would advise you actually to wear a glove anyway um, so here you put a sar saran wrap onto the meat the bowl of meat and then I'm gonna put it in the fridge now I'm gonna put it in the fridge so because I'm gonna be using it for the next two three days okay so I'm gonna use those meat and cook some uh, delicious meat food thanks for watching educatetube.com